My name is Peter Raymer. I have been looking at different examples of how to use chain of command on different types of objects in the AOT. In the last video, we looked at how to use chain of command on a class. In this example, let's look at how to use chain of command on a table method. Um, in this case, let's pretend that you have a new field on the customer. Um, so therefore be on the cust table object and let's pretend that you want to set a default value for this new field um, that gets set every time a user using the form creates a new customer. Um, we can't modify the base Microsoft code but we can use chain of command. Uh, the best place for this code would be in the init value on the cust table um, table, um, but again we can't put this code in directly so let's see how we would do this with chain of command. I can add a new class, I'll say new item. Um, it's a best practice that we name that um, after the base object so I'll start it with cust table and then I've found that it's helpful to put the type of object next so underscore table this isn't required um, but it does help if you know you've got chain of command on the cust table uh, table as well as the form that might be named the same thing um, so underscore table underscore extension and I must use that underscore extension in any chain of command class. Okay, now I've got my class. I can actually go back to the method that I want to extend and just copy this method definition exactly. And then I can close parentheses. And then the next thing we need is our extension of attribute. So an attribute starts and closes with um, square brackets, so I'll add those first, and then I'll type in this global function extension of. Extension of takes a string, um, but rather than just type in um, the string itself, we want to use a global function in case that base object ever changes. So in this case, we're going to use chain of command on a table, so I'm going to use the table string global function. If I put parentheses, now I can type in my base object, in this case cus table. I can close my parentheses of the table string and close my parentheses of the extension of. The next thing I need to do is I need to make this class final. If I don't, I'll get a compile error. When I try to compile, we're not allowed to extend chain of command classes any further. So we're going to use that final keyword. Um, and then the last thing I need to do is I need to make sure that my method is calling the base Microsoft method. So I do that with the keyword next. It's a little different. Um, instead of super, we're going to use this keyword next. And then I can type in init value. Um, it doesn't take any parentheses or any parameters, so I won't pass anything in. And it's also uh, returning a void, so I don't need to set anything. Um, or return anything else in this method. Um, but this is so now I'm at a point where I can actually make my change. Um, this is where you might add a comment or add in your code to um, set your new custom fields default value. Um, you don't have to do just custom fields if you have a base field that you would like to set to a default value this would be a great place to make that change so this is an example of chain of command on a table thanks so much for watching